Forty-five years ago today, a significant tornado tore through parts of central Illinois. The tornado first touched down to the east of Decatur, and when it touched down in the afternoon of March 20th, 1976, it carried off to the north and east, passing south of Beeman. The local fire department spotted it there, and it damaged the Voorhees Mansion to the south of town. As it lifted to the north and east, it barely missed Ivesdale, but directly slammed into the community of Sedoris, leaving behind, de behind devastation with over 50 homes damaged or destroyed. As the tornado continued to the north and east, then it hit Ogden directly on, destroying parts of downtown Ogden and leaving many homes in ruin. The tornado continued to the north and east, lifting just to the north and west of Danville near the Kickapoo Wildlife Area. In its path, it was rated F4, had 63 miles long of damage left behind with only 18 injuries. Amazingly, there were no fatalities. This is what the tornado looked like as it touched down. This video came from Sedoris, and we saw the tornado move through town during this video. A photographer that worked here at the time captured this from his farm. You can see the tornado about a half mile wide carried off to the north and east during this time at its strongest point a very ominous and eerie sight here for central Illinois. In its wake, there was quite a bit of damage. This is what it looked like in Sedoris. It took quite a bit of time for the recovery to take place. One year later, still there were destroyed foundations in place, lots of piles of rubble, a long cleanup effort in place for residents in central Illinois. Ogden also hit hard. This is what it looked like there. This was a three-bay firehouse. But after the tornado roared through town, it was converted into a one-bay firehouse. And it was in such terrible shape that all it's been used for is storage. I stood at the, out in the street and watched it on the last signal that I put out, last warning signal. I watched it I thought it was about two miles out. And then I run in the, my shop belly where the switch button was at and, and put the signal out the last time. And then I run for the... My pickup truck sitting outside and tried to get away from it. It got caught before I got away. I had to ride her out in the pickup truck. That must have given you more work than you've ever had in your life. Well, it gave me more of a thrill than I ever had in my life, I'll say that. Are people here concerned that this might happen again because this has been referred to as sort of a tornado alley through the state? They're very much so, very much so. And those words were very eerie for Ogden. They were hit 20 years later by a significant F3 tornado that killed one person and damaged much of the same parts of town. Sedoris was hit 13 years earlier by an F3. That area seems to be a bit of a hot spot for tornadoes. 1940 saw a tornado pass on through, of course, 96, 1963, 1976, and then another one came through parts of that same area back in 2011. Reporting in the studio on the terror that occurred in central Illinois 45 years ago today, I'm WCIA 3 meteorologist Jacob Dickey.